What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and somehow, someway, it is WrestleMania time once again. WrestleMania 38 is this Saturday and this Sunday coming from Dallas, Texas. Hopefully all will be good, but we can't build up to WrestleMania without following the yearly tradition that I set in 2019 where I do my WrestleMania predictions with my dog, Woody. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we are going to get right into the WrestleMania card. However, quick disclaimer before we get into it, I just want to say that this is being filmed before the go-home SmackDown, but after the go-home Raw. So, any matches that are added in between that time, I will add in the description down below, along with my prediction. So, without further ado, let's get right into night one of WrestleMania 38. Kicking off night one of WrestleMania, the match I have down first is Kofi Kingston and King Woods versus Ridge Holland and Sheamus with Butch at ringside. Now, initially, I believe this was meant to be a six-man tag. The New Day versus Sheamus, Ridge and Butch. Uh, but unfortunately, we all know that Big E broke his neck a number of weeks ago, so that is not happening. Instead, it is just a normal two-on-two -two tag team match. But nevertheless... My prediction stays the same. I am going with Kofi Kingston and King Woods. Woody, what's your prediction? Next up, we have a match that I really don't care about. Uh, it's the everlasting feud between Drew McIntyre and Happy Corbin. And uh, I just hope Drew McIntyre claymores him and finishes this match quickly. Such a shame that Drew is in this match at WrestleMania and not competing for a championship, but... Oh, uh, well, what can you do? Woody, who do you think is going to win? We have another tag team match coming up next. This time it is The Miz and Logan Paul taking on the Mysterios, Ray and Dominic. I don't care about this one either, to be honest. I know the build has been okay. They've been getting a lot of airtime, but I'm really not a Logan Paul fan. Uh, I don't really watch him at all. Uh, and, you know, I'm just, I'm not really bothered by this match. So I'm going to go with Ray and Dominic Mysterio to win this one. How about you, Woods? Next up, we have genuinely... Probably the thing I am most excited for on both nights of WrestleMania, which is crazy. Seth Rollins will be taking on a mystery opponent of Vince McMahon's choosing. Cody Rhodes. Come on, it has to be Cody Rhodes. Surely it is going to be Cody Rhodes. We're just going to have to wait and see. Will it be Stardust? Will it be the Dashing One? Will it be the American Nightmare? I don't know. It might not even be Cody Rhodes. We could completely get swerved. But I am predicting for it to be Cody Rhodes. And if it is, hopefully when it is, I am predicting Cody to be Seth Rollins. What about you, Woody? Next up, we have the KO show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, I wasn't really sure how to predict this or talk about it because it's not strictly a match, or we hope not anyway. I just think this is going to be a quick segment where it ends with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kevin Owens having a big brawl, eventually Steve stunning Kevin Owens and, uh, yeah, you know, raising some hell, drinking some beer and leaving. I don't think it's going to be a match. I hope it's not a match. Uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm just, I don't want Stone Cold Steve Austin to ruin his retirement. Uh, but yeah, Steve Austin and Kevin Owens, I think it's just going to be a bunch of punches, a bunch of mud holes being stomped, maybe a stunner or two, and then definitely drinking some beer. Woody doesn't have a prediction for this one because it's not actually a match. The SmackDown Tag Team Championships are on the line. Next, we have the Usos, the champions, defending their titles against Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. I unfortunately don't see Nakamura and Boogs winning. I'm not really interested in this story, to be honest. I'm sure the match is going to be great, but the build just hasn't really, you know, I haven't really been paying attention to this one. Either way, I think the Usos are going to retain. Woody, what's your prediction? Coming up next, we have a match that will surely be a banger. Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. I have seen this match 
at WWE Live in September last year, and it was a banger. So hopefully, they can even one-up themselves, but even if it's just as good as that, I think this match is going to be fantastic. But either way, I am predicting Bianca Belair to finally get her revenge from SummerSlam and become the new Raw Women's Champion. What about you, Woody? And finally, for night one, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair, the champion, defending against the Royal Rumble winner, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Now, if I am honest, I think these two are going to deliver in ring. Their match from Survivor Series a number of years back was a banger. Uh, but I'm just... I th for, you know, this is a running theme this year for WrestleMania. I just haven't really been interested in the build-up. So hopefully the show wins me over big time. But either way, I, uh, I think that Ronda Rousey is going to beat Charlotte Flair and become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. So Woody, what do you think? And that is all the predictions for night one. Let's see what Woody predicts for this match and move on to night two. Kicking off night two of WrestleMania, we have a match that has only recently been announced and it is a strange one to say the least. I'm talking about Omos versus Bobby Lashley, former WWE champion Bobby Lashley versus Omos at WrestleMania. Is Lashley really going to get squashed and beaten by Omos? I really hope not, but... I think that that's what's going to happen. So I'm predicting a moss. Woody, do you agree? Next up, we have Austin Theory versus Pat McAfee. Now, we have seen Pat wrestle before and he's pretty decent in ring. So I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, but... I don't actually see Pat winning. I think, uh, obviously, Austin Theory is being pushed, and I think they want to make a star out of him. So I think that they are going to start by having Austin Theory beat Pat McAfee on the grandest stage of them all. Woody, what do you think? Coming up next is a match that has had a hilarious build, a build that I have actually been interested in, I even participated in, and I am talking about Sami Zayn versus Jackass star Johnny Knoxville. Now, a lot of this has been back and forth since before the Royal Rumble, uh, Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn having a little bit of a rivalry going on, but it really got kicked into fifth gear uh, the other week when... <laughs> when Johnny Knoxville leaked Sami Zayn's phone number and threw a plane with it on display across LA. Obviously, if you haven't seen the video where I try and prank call Sami Zayn, go and check it out. Uh, but yeah, either way, I actually think that Johnny Knoxville is going to beat Sami Zayn. Uh, I think... This is different, right? Obviously, you have a celebrity come in, you want to have at least one of them win. I'm predicting Logan Paul to lose. I'm predicting Pat McAfee to lose. So I think that Johnny Knoxville is going to get the W over Sami Zayn. Do you agree with me, Woody? The next match on the card is hopefully, fingers crossed, going to be a certified banger. And I am talking about Edge versus AJ Styles. A true dream match right here. I cannot wait for it. But Edge has only just turned heel. He's just reinvented himself. He's got a new gimmick. He's got a new theme song. I see no reason why they would have him lose here. Uh, AJ Styles doesn't need the win. Edge does, in my opinion. You've brought him in as a new heel. Uh, I think he definitely needs to beat AJ Styles. So I am predicting Edge to go over the phenomenal one. What do you think, Woody? Up next, we have a fatal four-way women's tag team championship match. We have Shayna Baszler and Natalia taking on Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, taking on Sasha Banks and Naomi, taking on the champions, Queen Zelina and Carmella. I don't have a clue about this build. I haven't watched it at all. Uh, I've, I'm utterly clueless here, so screw it. We're going with Sasha Banks and Naomi to win. Woody, what do you think?
We have another Tag Team Championship match coming up next. It is the Raw Tag Team Championships being defended by RK Bro. RK Bro taking on the Alpha Academy and the Street Profits in a triple threat tag team match. This should be good. I can't wait for this one. I think this is uh, going to be one of the standouts on the card. And uh, yeah, a triple threat, you know, it's non-stop action, fast paced the whole time. I think it's going to be great. But either way, I've got RK Bro retaining the tag team championships. What do you think, Woody? And finally, the main event of the evening, the winner take all title unification match. Brock Lesnar defends his WWE Championship. Roman Reigns defends his Universal Championship. One man will walk away with both titles and that man is going to be the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, I've said it in every single pay-per-view prediction video other than one. Never bet against the Tribal Chief. Now, we're still not completely sure as to whether or not uh, that we'll be getting a new championship. You know, both belts put into one, similar to how this championship initially was the World Heavyweight Big Gold and the Scratch Logo Big Logo Championship turned into this WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. Fingers crossed uh, I want Roman Reigns to win and we get a new championship, but he may just carry both. I don't know. We're literally just going to have to wait and see, but you know, in my opinion, uh, Roman Reigns makes the most sense here. You've got the top championship right now in WWE is the WWE Championship. It will always be the top championship. However, it is being put down because the top guy in the WWE has the Universal Championship, which then makes the Universal Championship the top championship in WWE. Are you following? Good. So, you could have Roman Reigns lose the Universal Championship and then win the WWE Championship, but if you do that, his title reign, historic title reign, resets. However, however, if you unify the belts into one belt, one championship, Roman Reigns becomes the WWE champion. The universal title goes, but the reign, the 600 day, whatever it is, reign of Roman Reigns continues because the belts have been unified, not gotten rid of, if that makes sense. So I think it makes the most sense to do it that way. Therefore, I am predicting the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, to walk out of WrestleMania with both the WWE and the Universal Championship. Woody, one last prediction. What do you think is going to happen? And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my predictions for the most stupendous WrestleMania in history. Thank you very much to Woody for taking part once again. It's been an annual thing. Hopefully in the future we can continue it, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. There you go. Go. Let me know your WrestleMania 38 predictions in the comment section down below. Are you excited for the show? I want to know your thoughts and opinions about the whole show as well as your predictions. Because honestly, I'm not really that excited for it this year. But I'm I'm sure as, uh, as soon as Saturday comes around, you know, I'll be getting them WrestleMania feelings. And uh, hopefully all will be Good. Now, guys, real quick, before I end the video, I just want to say uh, very briefly that... The order of these matches could change. Uh, I have put them down uh, from what I've got online, night one, night two, but there may be matches that are switched around. So don't take this as gospel. Uh, this is just what I have read online. This is the match card that I have been using. You may find that one or two matches may get switched to either night one or night two from night one or night two. Uh, but anyway, guys, hopefully I'll be making live reactions uh, to WrestleMania. Unfortunately, I have actually tested positive for COVID. Uh, so I'm not feeling great at the moment. I've pushed through to try and get this video out to you guys. Uh, but hopefully, you know, right now I feel okay, uh, a little bit rough, but I'm um, fingers crossed it doesn't get any worse. If it get, if it doesn't, then, you know, WrestleMania reactions as normal. But there you go. That's enough of this video. It's already going to be too long. Uh, so I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all at WrestleMania. Goodbye. Ah!